So we are heading back out again and once again we're back in the car and once again it's a grey sky, horrible outside and we are making our way to Lorenzo's football. Well, I was going to say Wembley, St George's Park Wembley. isn't it? I wish I was going to Wembley. Oh, no, that yeah. reminds me, soon as the Manchester United vs Coventry tickets come out, yes. got to get them straight away. Have you checked the night already out yet? I've checked. I don't, do you know, I've it's checked soon? but it's got to be soon, isn't it? April something is I it? I have checked. I have checked but I didn't see anything. You ready for your game, Bog? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. St George's Park today. Mm -hmm. So we have arrived at St George's Park. Actually over there, the 21s were training when we arrived. They're not there no more. I think Lorenzo and his teammates went to walk up there so that if they could see them but they weren't there. That is the actual main area. I think that's where the hotel is as well. So that's where like the England team go and stay when they're here and then this is the futsal section this is where it's indoors it's where Lorenzo usually comes and plays and I think I think it's in there because I did see them having in there so I'm 90% sure it's going to be indoor which is always good because the weather isn't great and there's lots of seating for us to sit down but we're in the car and we've got over an hour to kill the kids are all <laughs> sitting here I must have almost fell out the car then they're all on their games and stuff we've got like an hour to kill and the worst thing about it is the internet reception here is non-existent there literally is no internet so everyone's just sitting there doing nothing what are you doing? I can hear monkeys. What are you playing? Temple Run? Oh my gosh. I remember this game was so hyped about like four or five years ago. Everyone was playing it. This game was so fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. You're usually a subway surfer kind of guy, not a Temple Run. My Tiago, that is so poor. He died already. Oh my Mom. god. Mom. Come on, let's see how far you can get. Oh, okay. Turn the corner. Okay, jump. Okay. Jump. Turn. Is someone chasing you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the monkeys, oh, the monkeys chasing you. Yeah. Go can on, Tiago. Can we change animals? Go on, Tiago. I don't think, I think so. It's no, that's so... Why I don't cheat? You managed to start it out as well. Go on, go. I think we should walk over to the hotel. Yeah, get like a drink or something? Can you even get drinks in there? I think so. I think I seen some of the other parents walk across there about 15 minutes ago and never oh, come back know. yet. Yeah, it's look, just a hotel, isn't it? We're going on a little bit of an adventure, see if we can get some drinks. Okay. I'll keep the little ones back here. In other words, I can't bother to move. In other words, it can't bother to move because it's cold and he thinks that there's going to be nothing in there. But I actually, it's I a hotel, think. so I'm assuming you can I get hot drinks and stuff. I doubt it. But if you can't take them out, then we're going to go in and have a drink and we'll come back in about 45. 55 minutes. So Lorenzo is about to, well, in about an hour's time, he's about to face Blackpool, Stoke, and I think, I think it's crew. I think it might be crew, I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, so it's like small-sided thing. Thing is, yeah, I don't always think I come down on these vlogs, yeah. I don't understand the point, yeah, in playing 3v3s at under 15s, going on under 16s. It just it doesn't make sense to me. So they've got a 3v3 tournament, then I've got a 7v7, which is fine, okay. And then they've got a full 11v11 game, which makes more sense. I don't know. Obviously, I know they like the kids to still have freedom and like take players on and stuff like that, but it just seems like 3v3s, like you might as well just do 3v3s in training or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not UA for A qualifier. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just giving my opinion. But yeah, they got 3v3s today. Isn't it, Tiago? No. That's the kind of thing you'd do in your training session 3v3s, little kids football. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll, I'll do it like 11 11, 11 v3? What the hell are yes. you about? 11 v3? Yeah, because I'm the best player ever. Mm -mm. Do you know what? To be fair, Tiago did have a training session last week actually. He's gone to a new place and he was really good. Yeah, I and and what and what are you gonna start playing football as well? Yeah. Should we get you going to football? Mm -hmm. Should we just get you a new kit and that? Mm -hmm. Do you know what? We should go out and get you a new kit. Should we do it later? Yeah. Actually, no, probably tomorrow. That's um, gonna be late. And new football shoes. New football boots. Yeah. Say new football boots. New football boots. That's right. Not new football shoes. You need football boots. So yeah. So we're gonna be here for quite a while. Then as I was saying, like late, yesterday, Melo come back late. He went out basically from, from Friday to Sunday. No. So he basically came back late on Sunday. So we actually didn't see him on his birthday more or less for like an hour and a bit so we didn't do like the traditional cake thing do you know like a, i'm making good videos you always see us like blowing out cakes or something like that like blowing out candles rather so we're gonna probably do that tonight yeah that might happen tonight that's what's happening today man stuck at football st george's park we're gonna be here for ages We've got an hour to wait until kick off and yeah it's long he has no faith. I actually believe that we'll be able to go in here and get a drink. Do I believe we'll be able to take drinks out? Maybe not. But will we get a drink if we can get a drink? Yeah. Yes, we will. <laughs> Maybe we get a bowl of chips. There's literally so many England staff walking around. Every single way you go, there's people in their England clothes. It's crazy. Obviously because, what is it? I don't even know. The, that's it, the Euro. <laughs> I don't know. The Euros are coming up this year. Obviously, in the preparation. Obviously, they had the game the other day, didn't they, as well, against Brazil, which they lost. And there's another game coming up, I think, next week as well. So, there's a lot of prep going on around St. George's Park at the moment. Did you want to get in? Oh, we almost got trapped. We made it. It must smell food. It smells good. Whether we're in the right place, I don't know. Oh, up there? Yes, we can get drinks up there. Perfect. Yes, Boggy. Hello. With the 
special leg treatment yes. machine. Yes. Any good? Yes. I've used it a few times, yeah, and I felt like it was squeezing way too hard. Do you know what I mean? Don't. No, 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 I swear down, there's nothing wrong with it, but it squeezes just a little you bit too hard. Perfect, you know what I mean? No, no, no. In the no, yeah, do you know what? Exactly. No, I'm not lying. One time you put it on like 80%, yeah. it was too strong. This is on 100. 100's too much. I felt like my, my heart was slowing down that. Like it was squeezing. You know what I'm talking about. No, Once it squeezes on your legs. It feels nice when it squeezes. Yeah, but it's tight. No, and it's like, I feel like, I, like I'm going to get some DVT or something. What's that? Deep vein thrombrosis. No, this is nice. It feels <laughs> nice when it's super tight. Yeah. yeah. Don't know. Anyways, how are your legs? Good. Yeah. yeah. You feel like it works then? Yeah. Oh, who's this at the door? Is this mellow? Probably. Who's that door, Shanky? Mellow. Oh, yeah, it is mellow. Yeah, it right, is. Right, so as I was saying, yeah? Yeah. Actually, how it's with your legs. Yes. So you'll play football, you recommend this to other people. Yeah. Other kids that are playing football, you'd yeah. say, yeah, go buy what it is. Yes. Go buy one of them now. Right now? Right now. And you're saying that when you put this on, yeah. next day you perfectly fine to play football? No, it feels better. Better? Better. By how much? Why Give me a percent. Give me a percentage. 80. <laughs> That makes you like for 80% better, do you not know think muscles, so? It? Yeah, it's all right. It's good. Dad, you said it was No, sick. it feels nice, but it's not going to make you like 80% better. Behind the camera. I'm not, you keep <laughs> saying this is how you lie. Anyways, how are you feeling about that Jamaica camp thing? Gutted. Yeah. Yeah. You must have been gotten still. Yeah. Seriously. You was excited about it. Yeah, but, obviously I was. Yeah, all your friends were gone as well, weren't they? Yeah, most of them Yeah, that would have been so good, man. Yeah. But it is going to happen again soon in the future. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully the England one comes as well. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, it would. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it is what it is. That's how football works, isn't it? Sometimes you pick up an injury. Yeah. It's not worth rushing it. And I know, even though we did rush for you to come back. Yes. Like, obviously we played in that tournament. Yeah. Well, you played in that tournament. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously you looked tired. Yes. Didn't you? Yeah. You looked tired, obviously, because you lack gameplay. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. imagine if you would have went to the Jamaica camp. Yeah. And then you would have been tired in that. I know. And you would have had a friendly, you would have been tired in that. Yeah. It's that, that worth it. That pitch we played on. Yeah. The same size as Wembley. What? Oh, the one the at St George's Park? Yeah. The 3G is the same width. Yeah, but don't you feel like you have more that time on the ball, more, though? But it's more ground to cover and run. Yeah, I get that. But don't you feel like you have more time on the ball? It's yeah. also not only is it more ground because you played right back at one point. Yeah, yeah. Like the last ten minutes. Yeah. So at right back, yeah. you've got more ground to cover to get higher up the pitch. Yes. However, the person that's pressing you yeah. also has more ground to cover because they're not going to be used playing on the full side of the pitch as well. True. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it works both ways, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like on a but you don't know other teams could play on bigger pitches. Straight they away, probably so do. They probably do. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, and I think at Birmingham you lot play a lot of small sided pitches. Yes, we do. And also at the same time, I think you play too much on 3G. We do. Do you know what I mean? Don't That's really the pound, problem. Pound, right? That's why sometimes I think you pick up injuries. You gotta look after your body, man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You yeah. really do have to look after your body. But anyways, as I was about to say to you, don't worry about the, the international camp thing. Obviously, these things happen. Yeah. Imagine, yeah, playing for like England or any international team, yeah, yeah, and you're about to go to a World Cup or oh. or to Euros or something like that, and, gets, and then you get injured. injured yeah. yeah. Last game of the season, playing for your club team, yeah. you get injured. Imagine that. Bad injuries, huh? Yeah, imagine that, and you miss the whole thing. Do you know what I'm saying? You could have been flying all season, about to go and taste the World Cup, yeah. and all of a sudden you can't oh, go. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these things happen in football, you know what I mean? And hopefully, do you know what I mean? Better opportunities will come. So I was actually moaning and saying, what's the point in doing 3v3s and 5v5s at your age? Yeah. However, do you know what? After your tournament, after that tournament, yeah. one of the coaches that helped organise it was talking about the reason why they were doing the 5v5s. Yes. And I kind of understand the reason why they're doing 5v5s now. What was it? Because in 3v3s and 5v5s, yeah, you're forced to do a lot of 1v1, 1 to yeah, 1, 1v1 one one defending and 1v1 one one attacking. Yeah. And then obviously it's a lot of recovery up and down the pitch and it tests your fitness as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's something different. And it is true because when you play 11 side football, you don't you always don't run in no. You got a lot of breaks in between. You're not always going 1v1 with somebody else, are you? No. And you're not always 1v1 v one defending. True. So to be fair, the tournament was actually quite good. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? And it was a real good test of your fitness. So yeah, mm -hmm. very, very good tournament, man. Right, so I've just literally dropped my car off because one tire gone on the right. So yeah. driver's side tire gone. Yeah. Passenger side tire about to explode as well. Yeah. I cannot believe it. So I literally was driving the other day all of a sudden message pops up on the screen it just went down zero it? tire pressure it just went down it just, it just went, went down. all the way down you could hear it kind of and yeah you see that it's gone yeah. flat so i've had to literally come to the tire place as i said it's the next day I had to drop the car
car to the tar place first thing in the morning because Lorenzo obviously has training because that's all he does he trains to play football <laughs> so I'm in a rush to take him to training obviously I need my car back first but whilst the tyres are being done we are going to B&Q to get, fence, to get panels. fence panels so we're going to try and get fence panels in like 30 minutes don't know if that's possible uh, yeah of course it is man you think so? Light work. All right, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Right, so we're here, and these are the things panels we're going for. But this looks nice, and it. No, it looks nice, but all I can see is ball, bang. Nice smack. tempered glass. No, it's gonna get dirty. You're gonna you get see ball prints everywhere. This it's not gonna look that tire. It's just not all gonna right, work. All right, all right. No way. Even this. Is this the one we're going for? Yeah. I just think if I kick the ball hard enough, I'd smash it to pieces. Uh, well, it should come with some sort of cover. It better come with a cover. And it, it shouldn't. It's hot. Look, it's, it's, I think it's stronger than what you think. Is it solid? Yeah. No, it is solid. I actually. think this colour as well, you know. What do you think? The lighter colour was uh, that colour? It's whatever you think. I don't know. I'm not bothered. I don't know now. What do you think, guys? Lighter colour was that? Oh, well, it's by the time, obviously, do you know what I mean? We get a decision back from everybody else. We've already bought it. Let's see what, how, right. what stumps have got there. Let's see the price. That'd be a good start. Uh, don't look how at the price. This? Don't look. Seriously? No. No, that's not a panel, is it? Pa pack of three. It's thirty-four pounds. How many packs do we need? You need two per two per one. How many do we need? Six. Oh my god! I can't even bother to work this out. I don't want to work it out because it just sounds expensive already, doesn't it? No. It's better look good, you know. I swear down. You would you was in on it with me as well, man. What about we need a gate part as well, don't we? Uh, uh, What's gonna happen? Do you know what I'm saying? Because the whole idea, the whole idea is to change the fencing in the back garden. Do you know when you walk up into the grass, which the dog has destroyed? Basically, we're gonna have like a, um, we're gonna fence off the side of the house so the dog can only go into one section when it's let out onto the patio, and then we're gonna be able to walk straight up on, from the patio onto the grass. It's gonna look, make it look so much more open. But yeah, we're just trying to make the garden ready for um, for summer because summer's coming quick. And the clocks change at the weekend as well. Did you know? Did I already? Yeah, yeah. The clocks go boards back. I don't know what it is that, but it's just going to be bright up a long which is good really anyways good. we've got to make a decision because obviously i've got to go and get my car in it so yeah okay. and i've just got training so, so i'm thinking speak. do you think this height is going to be okay though um the height is perfectly fine you think because it, obviously it's, dark can't, it's all about dark the dog, dog cannot jump over it but look it's on that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so really think it's about there isn't it dog still can't jump over it though okay do you know what i'm saying i don't know i think it's all right it would be better if it was a little bit higher what do you think? She can't jump over it because she's not allowed no, to jump the over it. The duck isn't going to be able to jump over it, but you know what I mean? I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think four. Cool. Unless we're going to buy a few extra. No, but well. that means you have to buy bigger these and the next one up with this. Next one up as well. Right. Okay. Let's just get what we're going to get then. Let's have get, it all come, All right, let's just get what we're going to get. And we are all loaded and done. Do you know what? I went out to go and get a trailer. I just realised what Tara pointed out because she's a snitch that this is for staff use only. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, I'm staff because what else am I supposed to do? We've got other trolleys, but there's some stupid ones where you got to walk on the side like this. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Do you know what I'm about? I know what you're oh, about. Oh, this is heavy, you know. My God. No wonder it's for staff. <laughs> right. Post Creek. Post You're talking to the man that doesn't do DIY and you're asking him where Post Creek is. I have no know. idea. If you ask me where a file or a folder is on a computer, I'll be able to tell you that. Oh. I ain't got a clue about DIY. <laughs> got me running back to the car to get the car to go down to the wreck seat because. We actually have a trade membership with B&Q. And you say 5%. So, I'm going to drive the car all the way down the road now. And I had to run, so I'm out of breath. Right, so we're en route to the car now. What, we're going along way? No, I'll go, I'm going to go up the road where you can only go up so far and then it becomes a road that you can't go up. You don't actually know where you're going, do you? I do, yeah, we're here now. It's, it's, it's not shortcuts. This, this road here, I don't think you meant to turn up it. But it has the oh. lines, so you can turn up it. Oh, you can turn up it. But I think it's a one way because it has a line. These there. cars are flying down here as well. I know, yeah. Listen, time is not on our side. It's actually 25 to 11. And obviously, we've got to get back home. And then the rental's got a bit of training for half 11. Yeah. So it's a bit of a rush. Yeah, we're here. You but can't the look like thing it's is, is the car being done now? No. Does it need to move? Does it? The front wheels have been changed. Uh, I think he's doing it at the moment. I think he's doing it at the moment. It. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What, well, are you going to carry him back home? Of course, I'm not going to wait for my feet to try and race me home. <laughs> race you home. Only joke, he doesn't race me home. No. If he did anyway, I'd win. My car's faster, by the way. So I ordered this about woo, three, four days ago. T fowl, which all our parts that we have are T fowl because I have the induction hub. I managed to find these, do you know the stackable ones? I've had them since literally we had the kitchen done when we moved in the house and they've been my go to parts. But someone threw away my big, massive frying pan part of it and they had this on offer. Let me get out of the box so I can show you. So they had this one on offer and I want to say it was £149. I know it sounds expensive, but this original set is like £300 something pounds. I originally got the smaller set when we first moved in I think it was 175 pounds so this is cheaper and you get 22 pieces of one two three four five six seven eight nine I think it's ten actual pots and you get the handles which you already have like the handles and you also oh my god it's just like, you also get some utensils some utensils you can never have too many I actually don't, don't have one that looks like this actually I like that um 
and then you have these like you put them in between them when you're storing them and they just literally all fit on top of each other i swear by these pots i absolutely absolutely love them and i'm so glad that i got this because now i have an abundance of marks of pots i love it you know you're getting old when these things excite you. I literally just did a happy dance because I've got there so many little frying pans and pots. So the small one is similar to the one I'm actually cooking mine doing at the moment. So that's all I have left of that. I have the I have these and plus another two more pans. I now have so many look how big this one is. Oh my god. I know it seems so sad, but how are really? Come on now, but these are the things that excite, excite me, man. Leave me alone. Just like, let me be. I've even got a deep one, like a walk one. Woo! Woo! Yes! So we have one panel in. It looks good. It looks way better. Way better than the wooden panels that we had. Way better than those. Honest to God. Hopefully, these ones are more durable. They should be. <laughs> In theory, they should be, but I'm pretty sure these kids are put to the test. But well, I'll show you when we have more panels up. Romelo is doing a transformation of his room, and this is a mattress. And I'm actually going to go and collect his bed, which he had for his birthday from us today. And this is what got done yesterday. We have three panels now. We have a dilemma, guys. We are unsure whether we continue it all the way across, like the old fence, or do we do it to where it is now? And then do we see here, have a gate running across towards the house to the dogs can use the toilet in this area and then that area is available for everybody to use because at the moment this is where the dogs currently come out and use the toilet on this area we have to clean it every day hose it down and it's effort or do we just let them have this little section here for where they come out to use the toilet and then we have that part for us and obviously the whole grass area as well we are going to be sorting out the grass part as well so this is going to be all pinned down and patched back up together and she will not be on the grass she's on it now because there's no gate stopping her aren't you kind of girls not throwing a ball not doing it so these are all all the old fence panels and all the packaging from these panels now this is the question do we have a gate that blocks off here and then have access to the patio or does it look silly just stopping there and should we carry it all the way on and have a gate and then carry it all the way on what do you guys think i'm thinking to carry it on i don't know i just think to carry it on but then i also do like to have the patio area dog free oh my god look at me i look a hot mess <laughs> literally oh, we've not long like been awake should i say skip came early this morning just heading to little because i need to grab black bags do you know what yeah I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't mean anything to you guys, but Lidl used to do the best black bags ever, ever. They were expensive, they were like $2.99, sometimes $3.50, but they were strong. You never, they would never split, never rip, right? Last time I brought them, all the handle parts broke. So either, it was a, either it was a bad batch. I'm gonna give it another chance, right? Because it could be bad batch, right? Yeah. But if this time I go and buy them, yeah, and the handles break, I ain't never buy them again. And I need some recommendations for some good, strong bean bags. Because bean bags are hard to come by when they're really good, unless you want to pay all oh, six, seven pounds. I went to Tesco's the other day. They had some bean bags, super strong. They had, they had a gorilla on the front and that. They were four pounds 79 for five. Five? That's like a pound a bag. That's expensive. Anyway, black bags, protein, and I think that's it. But every time I go to Lidl, I end up coming up with more than black bags and protein because it's Lidl. Also, we're supposed to be recording a goat video today and it's decided to rain and we're going outside to record the video. So we need to wait for the rain to calm down before we can record. Wow. Always happens. Do you know what? It? Yeah, honestly, this is the only thing in it about living in England because sometimes I think to myself, if we lived in Dubai now, yeah, we never have a problem. You like never wake up and go, oh, can we not record outside? I know, yeah. Like, we'd You're be too hot. To, You'd be like, it, oh, it is would, it too hot to record? But we'd be able to record all the time. Yep. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it makes you think sometimes, innit? Yes. Dubai, they're not Spain. Anywhere that's not the UK. Yeah, but well, yeah, well, Spain's not always hot, though. No, we're not, but it's, it's warm in here. rain all the time. Oh, no, no, it's it's true, rain true. at 10 yeah. o'clock, then the sun comes out at 11, oh, no. then rains again at 12.30. It's, it's just getting mad. It really is. It like, is we haven't crazy. brought up a Tiago video in a week. He keeps asking to make videos as well. Do you know what I mean? But it's just finding time, but we just got to try and stay on top of it because we're trying to grow his channel. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Lorenzo's hot. Probably gonna have a bit of a change on his channel as well. Yes. Um, obviously, the whole tech as kid thing, obviously, he's gonna live forever. Do you know what I mean? However, he still grows up, doesn't he? So I think sometimes, yeah, maybe we need to just do something that he There's wants to do. Because he wants age. to do like he wants to do like live streams and like he wants to play pro clubs and that with like other people and that. Yeah. Because he's been doing that like every he day. He has, he has. So maybe he has. we just support him doing that. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he actually has quite a few friends at all different academies, isn't he? He does. He's got loads. a massive friend group, to be fair. He does. Out of nowhere, though. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All these kids. And it's not fake friends, by the way, guys, where you think, oh, yeah, just because this tech is good. Nah, these are nah, kids yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. have the same like mentality, they football do, they do, wise. They, 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 they want to make it. Yeah. They're all going to go camp together yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. but yeah, he's going to start a new channel. Tech is Kids channel will still stay on. It will still like, feature him and Tiago. But he wants something for. Yeah. He's, not a, he's not a kid. He's a young man. Big old boy, man. Young man. Do you know what I mean? Right, so whilst Tara's gone into Lidl, let's have a quick talk. So first of all, I want to apologise because this video, yeah, feels like it's so like mishmash, it's unbelievable. We've gone from the first day, which was going to Lorenzo's football, to the second day, which was getting my tyres sorted out and going to B&Q, then the third day, which is today. So we've kind of skipped days, but it's not been done on purpose it's one of them ones where things have been going on throughout the day and we haven't been able to vlog kind of thing in it so we're just kind of putting this together as we go along and then i also want to apologize because the other day in the video i kind of spoke about obviously lorenzo wanted to talk about something about all this drama and then the video kind of just ended like abruptly like it wasn't supposed to do that basically obviously the editor had files to edit and then i was supposed to send him more files but it got towards the end of the day the editor finished his shift and then i didn't manage to add the additional files at the end so then you guys kind of missed out so i want to apologize for that as well and um when i say drama there was no crazy drama basically it was just to do with lorenzo on his football as you guys know lorenzo's been injured while well, he was injured for about five weeks so he had a bit of a tear like just by his hamstring it wasn't his hamstring that was going or anything it's like a muscle tear that was bite or something like that so he was out for five weeks now he got an international call off to play for jamaica actually so he was really excited about it now because he was injured we kind of really wanted to try and get fit so because he really wanted to go to international camp so he was doing all he could so he was going to the gym and he was walking in the water he was doing loads of court exercises he just really wanted to attend the international camp so we just did all we could to make him better for it yeah so in the end basically he actually managed to get fit so he rushed back to get fit he's ready to go and then it got cancelled yeah so like a couple of days before the international break camp whatever you call it it got called off so he wasn't able to go so yeah <laughs> it was one of them mad ones so he was a bit annoyed about that but obviously it's one of the things in it like it will happen again in the future kind of thing so yeah just have to be patient and then at the same time yesterday and at the same time a couple of days ago when you've seen that lorenzo went to st george's park to have a football tournament he didn't look Fit. now obviously it's his first game back since injury so we can expect it but he, he got tired really fast like he didn't play badly he was just tired like quickly tired obviously he hasn't been playing a lot of football so it's going to take a few weeks for him to get back to where he should be and it's a probably a good thing that he didn't attend the international camp because obviously his body's not what he wanted to be at the moment so probably a good thing that he did get cancelled and as tar is still in little the rain comes down even more and it just makes it very unlikely that we're going to be able to record this video outside in the garden it's just honestly it's just mad in it uh yeah kind of got just a little carried away Oh my god. Only three bags. Ugh. Three full bags, three heavy bags. I thought you were going to get flat bags. I did. And I got the protein. I also got the meat for Easter Sunday. It's not this week. Is it not? No. Are you sure? Easter Sunday. It is. It's this it's Sunday. No it's, no, it's not. It's this Sunday. It's mm. not. How do you know? It's this Sunday. Because we go to Manchester on the Saturday. This Saturday. Yeah. Then Sunday and Good Fridays is Friday. Are you sure? Yeah. So I got the lamb and I got the, the gammon because they're on offer. So, yes. And the fence is done. And I do think it looks really, really good. Tyler's brother Daniel's done a really, really good job of this. I ain't even gonna lie. Look at that. It looks way better than it did before, honestly. So now the dog can't jump over. Do you know what I'm saying? It looks a lot more modern. There's no gap so the ball doesn't come flying when you when you miss a shot and it goes underneath the old gate. It's it's just so much better, man, honestly. Pit about the weather though, isn't it? It's been a busy couple of days, hasn't it? It has been a busy couple of days. I feel so tired, yeah? Do you really? And the thing is, the couple of days coming up are going to be busy as well. Yes, we've got a lot going on. We have a lot going on this So weekend. we're going to Monster Jam. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes, the kids don't know, so keep The kids don't out. know, yes, yes. Shh. Then we're going to Manchester, Manchester on, Saturday. on Saturday to do the Cube. The Cube. That Mini should be Nathan. good. Yes. Then that's it. Then it's Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, which means you got to cook a whole Christmas dinner. I know you have. It's going to be good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've also got to do the eggs. We've got <gasps> What? Easter eggs. Oh. Oh. Should we just wait till after Easter? Everything will be half price. Don't be none left. Huh? There's <laughs> hardly ever any eggs left after Easter. Have you not noticed? Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of people are cutting down eating that chocolate anyway, so... Do you know what I mean? We need to go get some Easter eggs and that 
being said, if you're still here watching this video at this time, then we appreciate every single one of you watching and also head to the comments and type Easter eggs.